So, um, hello, my name is Esteban Munoz. I'm working at the city's unit in uh, UN Environment. We are developing urban metabolism uh, models under the JAREC program. Well, we, we see urban metabolism models at, a, at an essential part uh, for cities to actually understand what is happening on their cities, understand the flows and uh, see cities as a system, so have a systematic approach to, to their problems and to their source of flows uh, and help cities um, understand what's going on on their cities. So the, the, the approach that we have here is we're trying to combine a little bit uh, urban metabolism with uh, spatial micro simulation. So uh, and in the first round we have a, a rather classical approach to urban metabolism trying to quantify the inputs and outputs but we're trying to go a little bit beyond that and trying to identify the drivers of these flows, what is driving the, 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 the flow of resources in cities and at a micro level and that's very important for us to, to, to represent that at a micro level uh, in order to really uh, quantify these impacts and, and the drivers at a micro level and also to uh, quantify who will be impacted by the transition. So uh, many cities are talking about a transition to either a, a sustainable development, a circular economy, a uh, reduction in consumption but you need to understand who will be affected by this transition. And this is only possible if you have simulation models at a micro level, at a household level. And that's what we're trying to do with, with uh, our model. It's a measure, a tool not only for city officials, but for everyone in the city, that they can actually understand the plausible impact of uh, a policy so um, if the city came come up with a, with a new policy we need to understand what does it mean for uh, specific sections of the population and who will be the winners of this policy and who will be the losers of the policy so that they can actually take decisions based on that well we're trying to simplify the models as much as possible but not more <laughs> than that so i think uh, these models this type of approach require a strong cooperation between academia and city officials so um uh, but we're trying to to have this model as as building bridges between these two uh, actors so i think uh, it is essential to have the academic body uh, validating the, 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 the models, validating the data coming in, validating the assumptions made by the models, but you also need the city officials to actually uh, give the, um, the policies, the, the policies that the city is thinking about, they, these policies need to be uh, developed by city officials. That's something that um, the scientific community cannot be providing. So we see uh, this tool as, 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 a, as a cooperation mechanism between scientists and uh, policymakers. Thank you.